Okay, moving on to how to add domain users to a single sign-on in vSphere 6. Let's go ahead and get logged in to our domain controller. Back in lab three, we set up a few things. And one of the important things that we need to look at is app directory, users and computers. We need to double check to make sure we have the ESXi admin group. Uh, if you don't have it, go ahead and add it. Next, let's go ahead and create a new user. We're going to call this user vAdmin. And I'm going to go ahead and set the password for him. Oh, I'm going to have to double check. Password pound pound one. Password pound pound one. All right. And that should be good. I just got a password uh, expiration for administrators. So I'm actually going to go ahead and change that as well. I don't want that one to expire either. In a real environment or a live environment, you probably wouldn't be doing that. But for us, we are. So. So what we're going to have to do is inside our web client, we're going to have to set up our ESXi admin group so that when we log in, we can uh, use that instead. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be assigning this guy the correct permissions in vCenter. So what we want to do is we want to add some members to ESXi. We actually want to add domain admins. We also want to add our v admin. V <laughs> admin, our newly created account. That way, we can log in with any of those accounts to vCenter and it will work. No longer relying on our built in account. I'm going to go ahead and close out of Active Directory user and computers. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to navigate to my VC because it's a little easier for me. I'm going to open up my web client. I'm going to go ahead and get logged in. Administrator at vsphere.local. If this is done correctly, this will be the last time we have to log in with this account. Web interface is kind of buggy, so be patient with it. All right, so on the left hand side, let's go to administration. Let's go to single sign on configuration. And here's all of our accounts. The users and groups for our accounts. Configuration will actually be our identity source. So let's go ahead and click on identity source. And you'll notice here we have two identity sources. We actually want to change that. We actually want to add in a Active Directory integration. So let's go ahead and change it to Active Directory. And that should be our appropriate. We can leave the use machine account. All right, I'm going to click OK. And we now have our vita.alias and our vita.domain there. So let's go ahead and go back to vCenter. Home. So what I'm going to do is I want to go to my vCenter inventory list. I want to navigate down to vCenter servers. I want to go and select my vc.vita.local. So that is my vCenter. I'm going to go to manage. I'm going to go to permission. And here are all the accounts that I can log in. I'm going to do green arrow. I want to add. 
I'm going to change my domain to Vita. And I actually want to add in my group ESXi admin. All right, if it doesn't like that, I'm just going to do ESXi. All right, it didn't like that either. I guess I will just scroll down. ESXi admin, click OK, and assign the role of administrator, propagate to children, click OK. As long as vSphere, sorry, vita.local forward slash ESXi admin is selected, we are good to go. We should be able to log out and log back in to vCenter using that account. So I'm going to go ahead and log out. All right, I'm going to log in with Vita Administrator. Password pound pound one. And if it lets you in, you're good to go. The web interface is low, so do be patient. One thing you want to make sure is once you're logged in, make sure you can see things. Make sure you had access to the inventory. So can you see ESXi hosts? Yes, you can. So this lab is complete. Thank you.